here we are in the middle of the woods looking pretty good wind blowing the trees around there's a magical whimsical lake right over here we're actually in somebody's backyard and these are these are the steps up to the yard but this is not just any backyard guys this is the backyard of the castle of the owner of the company Abercrombie and Fitch look at this we're walking up this this like hill right now I just like the leaves are, are finally changing seriously we are literally in like a wonderland like a fantasy type forest right now this is beautiful in a few minutes we are gonna be standing in front of a massive castle that looks like it came straight out of the medieval ages. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of the history and then I'll tell you some more later. I just wanna keep it kind of brief so that you don't get bored. Plus, we're walking through some really thick wilderness right now, as you can see, and I don't wanna die. So basically, this castle was built in the 1920s and it took them only two years to build it. Absolutely insane. Wait until you see the place. You're gonna be amazed at how quick they were able to build something like that. Really quick, I think we're actually lost. <laughs> but anyway, this castle was built in the 1920s, like I said, for David Abercrombie. Basically, what they used to do is they used to make clothing and travel gear for America's elite. And only certain people, the rich people, were able to buy it. They would make things like binoculars and all other different kinds of travel accessories. It's absolutely cool <laughs> as hell, and that's pretty much the basic history. Right now, we're gonna try and not get lost again. Let's keep going yeah, and try to get to this castle. Navigator. Fun fact, I think I own like one piece of Abercrombie and Fitch clothing. I should have wore it today. I think it's a t-shirt. Oh, that would have been dope. It would have easily been like, you know, maybe I could have got sponsored. That would be pretty sick. Just kidding, that's never gonna happen. Dude, this pond is actually beautiful. The, the, the whole day is beautiful. I mean, we have all the good vibes right now. First of all, the leaves are falling. Fall is right around the corner. The weather's perfect. It's a nice cloudy day. This is like one of the best days to be exploring. We're also out here with all the homies. We got, we got exploring with Josh, we got exploring with Danny, and we have Bethany, and we have Casey. Nobody was paying attention to me when I just introduced them, but that's okay. Casey has a walking stick. I do, it's nice. for spiders for you. Oh, for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. You're so sweet. All right, they're calling my name. What's going on here? Whoa, a bridge? This is how we get to the castle, we have to cross it. Yo, guys, look at this, first of all, nice mossy steps this is like as fantasy as it gets i literally feel like i'm playing the game uncharted like this is insane <laughs> this is it. and this is the bridge you're gonna have to walk across this bro honestly if abercrombie sees this he'll give you unlimited clothes at the mall dude you know, i, can, I can get sponsored for this yeah you could. yeah does Cross this mean it. i'm a real explorer i think so i think so too if you do this you will you already got the title in discovery code Discovery Cove, you mean Discovery <laughs> Island? <laughs> okay, so we got two options here. I can either whisk, whisk. <laughs> I can either risk my life to go across this one beam, or I can literally just go down here and just walk down that way. Uh, bro, but I think this is the best way. It's a lot cooler if I do this. Yeah, we're going to a castle. We're fighting a dragon at this point. Yo, facts. I feel like I'm in the movie yeah. Shrek right now. Yeah. Save the princess and cross the bridge. Go. Yo, you're right. What if you slip? Then I die. Then he dies. <laughs> That's the way life works, Bethany. Well, hey! Where are you guys oh. going? Where are you guys going? What do you mean where we're going? We're going to the path around where it's safer. We're smart. There's no path. Cowards! This is the only path. Cowards, I'm the best coward you'll ever see. I'm the smartest coward, bro. We don't want to die. Bro, if we got into a fight, I'll throw rocks at you or sand at you. <laughs> I play dirty. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you just carry Pocket sand. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got my climbing gloves on. I strapped myself up. I'm gonna give the camera to Casey down here, and she's gonna film me go across this bridge. You guys, I made it. Good job. Yo, Bethany already climbed the bridge. Yeah. She's better than me. I don't think this is doable, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys on, don't even cross bridges. You did already. You have no proof. I think these are nailed in pretty solid. Although, yeah. if I fall, I'm gonna die. Hey, none of that. Don't use the word die on YouTube. Well, I can. Die, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Die, <laughs> die. <laughs> Josh, there's no way you're gonna be able to do this. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't say I can climb that? Nope. Holy sh! That is a huge f spider. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Maybe oh my f god. Is it a mission abort? Oh my god. <laughs> is it a mission abort? Oh, I don't want to look at it. I Turn didn't... back, I'm bro. turning back. We're yeah. aborting mission. Abort, abort. All right, so mission abort. I saw a spider. I'm not doing that. I almost died right there. Now, we are gonna go down this way and just go around like Josh just did. It's the safer way anyway, even though I'm already slipping and sliding. 
I should be wearing boots, but I'm not. You can kind of see the castle right there. Let's go. We all made it up here in one piece. I'm actually at three pieces. So this is it, guys. We're gonna walk up into this castle and check it out. I don't even know what the inside looks like. I know Casey is all the way up there already. She did not waste any time. But I bet that this is actually a really nice place on the inside, regardless of how trashed it is. Just because, I mean, look, it's a castle. It's got multiple floors and stuff. It's built very old. The foundation is obviously all stone and rock and all that. This right here looks like it was probably a horse stable back in the day. A garage is what it looks like. <laughs> That's so cool. Damn, look at all these papers just straight up thrown in here. Let's get in there. I want to I wanna see this place. So as you can see, all the windows and stuff are completely smashed. We're totally not the first people to be here. This place has been well known for a really long time, I'm, I'm totally sure. But, you know, we never always get to everything before the, the crowd of people gets there. But that's fine. It's not about doing it first. It's just about being able to say you did it. So here we are. I think this is the way in. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. I love this little alleyway right here with the spiral staircase. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna have such a field day taking photos here. Josh is down there at what looks like some kind of stone outline. Let's go look and see what's over there. This is sick though, I don't even if it's nothing. It's just like a stone arch and it's really cool. Let's just go stand in, inside, see what we can see. This is sick. It might have just been like a place for them to kind of just chill and look out into their backyard or whatever. Really, really dope. Ugh. I've honestly never seen anything like this before. Look at even the stone stairs. Welcome. Be nice. Look at this doorway. This is just so beautiful, man. They even had a doorbell into the, integrated into the stone. Doesn't work anymore. Let's get going. Let's check it out. This is so cool. Look at how it's just all stone. Now, obviously, you guys are going to see a lot of graffiti and stuff, a lot of vandalism. But that's because the place is old. It's a very common area to, for people to be in. I mean, there's people hiking and stuff in here right now, too. But I like this fireplace, though. Hold up. Let's look. Totally bricked out fireplace. Tile is still on the floor. And this was like a little courtyard over here. Check this out. This is incredible. Like, I, I know I'm gonna keep using the same words. I'm sorry, guys. This is just like overwhelmingly beautiful for me right now. I mean, they had a fireplace in their courtyard. That's how sick this was. What I mean, of course, it's Abercrombie and Fitch, you know? They got like a whole terrace balcony type thing right here. Spiral staircase over there. Another spiral staircase over here. This is just really aesthetically pleasing, no matter where you look. This is a rip-off, he says. Yeah. That's funny. It's mad funny. There's like a family hiking and exploring here with us, and like they're talking mad junk about this place. That's <laughs> no, just the kids. Right? I came out and I was like, oh, this place looks cool, and the kid was like, no, it's not. <laughs> I got on video. No, it's not. <laughs> Yo, I don't care what he thinks. This is no. mad cool. Yo, did you find money, Beth? A hundred dollars? Oh my goodness. We're rich. Now, see, if there wasn't. This place is so freaking good. I was just gonna say this. If there was no graffiti here and this was like set up with the furniture, more. this would be like, actually, I think it would be good. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's still cool though. Like oh, even yeah, with the right. graffiti, I don't, I don't really care. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a little messed up, but it's still got stuff here. I mean, guys, check it out. First of all, we got the chandeliers still hanging from the ceiling. There, were, there would be three, but there's only one that's intact. It kind of has the look of a church, honestly. It's cathedral ceilings. Cathedral ceilings, yeah. yeah, definitely. It really does look cool. 
I mean, you got the, the broken down furniture, the table, the chairs. There's even a love seat couch right there. There would have been dressers right here. Maybe this would have been a master bedroom. Not sure. It has the look of it. Maybe it could have been a living room. Another fireplace right here. And some kind of like, all, like alcove right here. And there's other ones right here too. This is why like I almost thought it could have been like a cathedral for the family. Like this would be where they would go to do their like worship or whatever. So they would never have to leave. They might have had like some religious statues in these things, possibly. But I can just imagine when the sun hits this place the right way, the light rays will be coming in, shining through these windows, and it would just look so beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> One thing I love about this little courtyard is like, the tiled cobblestone looking floor. It almost looks like a golden brick road. It looks really, really cool. So we explored that little area. Now we're gonna cut across to this side. I just wanna see what this little stable looking thing is. It definitely looks like a stable. Just look at this spiral staircase. That is gorgeous, man. There's just so many angles. I was just talking about this with Josh. There are so many different angles to this place for photo, video. There's, I could be here all day long and I probably still will miss things when it comes to shots. But anyway, check this out. This is an interesting little area. There's a couple little like significant mosaic tiles around here. Like check it out, like little decorative pieces that were here back in the day. Like that one right there. But constant water damage has made the ceiling fall in. And I don't know what this could have been. This could have just been like their outdoor little hangout spot where maybe they would come out here for a drink or just chill or whatever. I mean, they got a fireplace. I expect them to have a fireplace in every room of this place. This is so sick though. All right, here we go. We're moving into another room. Okay, first of all, this just threw me off. This place has a like a stone fireplace right here, right? But then it also has a radiator over there. Those are like two completely different forms of heat. I'm not really sure like just how modern this place really was. However, it's still cool. Let's just not even act like it's real. I don't know if these are just holes in the floor or if they were actual skylights. They had to have been because I see the glass right here, the glass shards. So these are probably all skylights at once. And down here is actually the basement. That's probably where we're gonna go next. I just wanna see over here, this little, ah, water on my head. It's like a balcony, but it's it, not. Yeah, this is like, like a balcony, but it's not. <laughs> like, why would they walk like a comfort window to get to the balcony? Yeah, this is not actually a balcony, but it is cool just to be out here, you know? You found the other half? Yeah. Check out this room. Another love seat couch right there. Really cool. I don't know who A and C are, but this is uh this is an S and K couch now. Get it? A and C, they're a couple. We're, yeah, it's we're, we're a couple. And S. No, S and K. K and S. S and K for SK Mansion. Beyond the Dark coming soon. Just plugged it. I love this like dungeon looking area. That's what it feels like when I'm walking in here. Let's keep going. Wallpaper completely peeling off. That's so cool. All the doors and stuff are just like completely ripped off. Is this a shelf? I think it is. This, obviously their kitchen once upon a time. Uh, I actually kind of dig how small it is compared to the rest of the house because they probably didn't really spend much time in here anyway. They probably had people doing it for them. You're missing the best part. Am I? I could fit a body in there. <laughs> oh, all right. That is a tiny, tiny tub. And there's ramen. You know, ramen in the tub is like the best way to do it, I think. But that's so weird how, like, it's just a tiny tub for such a massive house. Castle, I should say. The mirror's in there. Yeah, the mirror's completely crushed, destroyed. Just like my hopes and dreams. This is probably a bedroom at one point. I just, I feel like it was. It was small enough to be one. Even the carpet is still here. Lead paint, obviously, chipping off the walls. Let's keep going, let's keep going. This is probably another bedroom. Is this a walker? A walker? Oh, it looks like it, it could have been one, maybe. Or like maybe the thing that they used to sit on the toilet. The old people? The old people? Yeah. yeah. That might have been what it is. Maybe they had it there before they left. That's dope. I really like that. Abercrombie. 
That staircase is nice. Yeah. It's like it's like elevated and like on an island. The railing's obviously gone, but. All right, let's head upstairs now. We're gonna start. Wait, no, we can't go upstairs. We gotta do the basement. Basement first, then upstairs. the basement this is damp as fuck. oh I saw this from the outside this is the room that had a ton of papers it's a, just a mountain of papers and books and stuff like well Casey said there's more so let's just keep going I guess this is crazy he's casually walking on a fridge damn look at the fat old TV with the screen kicked in that's crazy and over here is just a workstation there's a bunch of stuff in here just random like Handyman stuff, you know? This is basically a garage. There's even a toy house for the kids right here. Nice. All right, so instead of taking the stairs, I'm going up these stairs. This staircase is cooler, let's do it. This is really cool. Gotta watch my step right there. Yeah, see, these definitely were skylights once upon a time. Mattress right there. The floor is literally caving in, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna step out here for too long. I just kinda wanted to show it off, that's all. Got another couple floors to go, let's keep going. Dude, this is awesome. The floor is cool. It's like slanted wood pieces. Damn. All right, I'm gonna do it too. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, it's crickety and everything. Oh, this is so not safe. Oh. Damn, this is a nice attic room. This is sick. I love this room a lot. That vaulted curve ceiling is is beautiful and look at that light is already starting to shine through right there this is so sick let's look in here oh my god this room is amazing i don't even care about all the tags and graffiti on here this just looks so cool like architecturally look the yo Incredible, dude. This is this is so cool. Like, can you picture this building in like its prime? I wish. Like without all the graffiti, without the damage, this would have been amazing to yeah. see back in the day. Look at these windows too. So sick, man. We're almost up to the top. There's a bunch of people on here. Wait a minute. When did you guys get here? All right, I'm heading up. Let's go, here we go. This is such a weird way up to the top. Peace out, homies. Bye. I'm never coming home. We're going to Narnia, adventure in forever. Yo, this is insane. Dude, oh my God, Casey, this is crazy. Look, we're even gonna go through this little cove right here. This is so tiny, oh my God. Going through the curve. And here we are at the top. Oh my god. We did it. 
Damn, we really just climbed Abercrombie and Fitch's castle. Oh, we haven't yet? Yeah, you're right. Technically, we're, we didn't do it all. All right, so I'm up here at the very tippity-toppity point of the castle. I'm higher than everybody, but the whole gang, the whole gang is here. Everybody, even Matt came to join. <laughs> well, get off before you get hurt. Why have you not? Man, shut your ass. You're such an evil person. <laughs> Yo, he kicked that away like a savage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he punched it. Guys, we have officially climbed, explored, and filmed the entire Abercrombie and Fitch castle. This was an experience for sure. I feel like I always say the same thing every time I end my video, but like, that's the reason why I make these videos in the first place, is because I just love exploring and getting these experiences and seeing the things that no one really gets to see. I mean, yeah, we found some locals here, but not many people that don't live here know about this place, and I just feel like it's so cool to be able to say that I explored it and I documented it. and. Now everybody gets to see it. And on top of that, it's just cool. It's a castle, bro. Like we see castles here and there. We've done a couple on my channel, but this is definitely one of the more significant ones. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really quick, I'm just gonna plug myself before I leave. I just wanna talk about my Patreon community really quickly. I just started that up and it's actually really, really good for you guys and it's good for me. You guys get a lot of exclusive content that comes directly from me. You get things like shout outs in my videos. I get to send you prints every single month, my photo prints. You also get to talk to me like through text basically whenever you want and it's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited to kick that off and do it. There's a couple people already on the Patreon, so if you're interested, please go to the link in the description below. Consider becoming a patron. I also sell all of my own photo prints. Anything that you see on my Instagram, any photo that I have ever taken is available for sale. You just gotta hit the link in the description below. It'll take you right to my print shop and you can buy it. They're relatively cheap and they come with great quality. Also, be sure to go and subscribe and follow the homies that were here with me on this adventure. We had Exploring with Josh, Exploring with Danny, Bethany, and we had Casey, obviously. Links for everybody are in the description below. Some are on YouTube, some are on Instagram. Either way, go give them a follow. They're really great people. Obviously, I do this with them and only them. And that's it for this video. Be yourself and go explore the world. Peace and thanks for watching.